Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel again. It's your girl Peshoria. In case you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And thank you guys for uh, the 3000 viewers. Thank you for uh, supporting me, watching my video, and sharing my video. So, guys, it's normal routine. Welcome to Africa, Kenya, where most of the parents give birth and leave all the responsibility of the kid to the youngest daughter or son in the family. This is what happens in most uh, uh, with many parents when they give birth, they stop. Uh, they, they start. They leave the responsibility of the kid, the house, and everything to the firstborn on in the family so in today's video guys i have a girl with me this girl is nine years old as you can see and she is a mom at a very young age the reason why i say she is a mom is because she is the one who take care of this young baby over here she is the one who take care of the ritual brother over here as you can see she so she is a mom of three of two kids and this girl, as you can see, she has to do all the house chores, the farm work, everything. Because uh, she's the one who has to do everything. Unfortunately, this girl today, I don't know if her mom was alive today, would want this girl to do all these chores. Because this, mom, this girl is an orphan. And right now, she lives with her aunt. Uh, and so the aunt is the mom of these young two kids and the girl is living to her aunt. But unfortunately, the aunt could, couldn't afford to take this girl to school and also she can't even afford uh, to buy... She can't afford to buy clothes for this girl decent clothes or anything because unfortunately the lady is not also well enough so this girl is an orphan guys she is an orphan living with aunts but she isn't going to school because she has to take care of the young kids over here and also for today's video i was surprised because i did meet the aunt in the house she was actually in the house, but the girl uh, is doing all this kind of a job with the baby at the park because uh, the aunt is claiming to be sick. She is claiming not to be feeling well, and for that, the baby, the girl has to stay with the uh, has to stay with the baby kid and has to do all the house chores. After washing the utensils, you can see she is washing clothes. And you can see the baby boy over here is just watching uh, the girl do all the house chores. The girl was not feeling okay. She was mad because she was really tired. She is doing a lot of jobs. I, She only... Uh, prayed for one thing like she hoped for one thing like if only her mom was alive today maybe she could have a better life she could be going to school but that's not what it is so she has to accept the situation currently you can see the girl is very hard working she is after this job she knows what to do next what to do next until all what she has been given for the day, she, she has to complete it. And I could tell the girl was not happy. I didn't know why, but the girl wasn't that uh, happy in the life she has right now. So after that, she is trying to clean the, the green glams. We call it dengu in our country. We call it dengu. She is trying to remove the stones and everything in the green glass. 
so that she can cook for lunch you can see how hard working she is but it's very sad that this girl has to do everything while calling the baby but she doesn't have a choice Liam Sorry guys so she has to do everything while calling the baby you can see she is actually very tired since morning until now the baby is still at the back and because the baby is very small she has to do it and the aunt say the baby can't cry so the girl won't let the baby cry so she has to carry the baby all the way parents in africa we have to change this like it's not a must for the baby to uh, be at the back of the your elder ones or the elder kids just for her to feel comfortable or for the baby not to cry because at the point i see that the elder kids are suffering a lot uh, taking care of these small kids because it's also very painful uh, at the back the baby is very heavy the girl is also very small by the time he's she's growing up she'll be having chest pain all day or through so after she's done you can see she knows how to carry the baby at the front and the back so now she wants to put on fire so that she can cook her green glams so now she is putting on fire This is a true life story guys this is what happening currently in Africa like uh, the big sister or the big brother in the family has to take care of everything and all the kids in the family she has to become a mom she, he has to become a father at a very young age just because the parent had to go find a job or something now the life of the elder kid in the family has to stop and become a grown up right away so guys you can see she is in the farm currently she is cutting the banana so that they can go cook and also as you can see she is very young she has the baby at the back and she has to cut the bananas which is actually very risky and dangerous the banana could fall on them after that she is going to carry the banana on the head and she has to go back to prepare the banana so this girl knows everything what she's supposed to do in the day it's good that kids in africa grow up knowing to knowing how to do everything in the house but for sometimes all at the at, at a point i see the kids are suffering a lot i see they are doing a lot more than they are supposed to do they are doing more than they are supposed to do because they are doing he very heavy tasks and mostly they have to stop school they have to stop being a, being kids they have to stop praying and pray a lot of a big mom or a grown up a uh, just because the mom said so you can see now she is back at the place so that they, she can prepare the bananas i don't know what she is cooking or what she wants to cook but she just she she first prepared the green glass and now she is preparing the bananas i don't know what kind of a food is this but we will see guys you can see the boy was very calm because 
she had not eaten anything so i bet she, he was a very angry the boy was hungry The girl dream is just to go back to school and have a normal life with other kids. As I said, she's nine years. Goodbye.